What's up? My name's Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to install Optifine for Forge in 1.19. The release for Optifine was released a few hours ago, and of course, this will work far into the future. Now, and only now, are you able to install Optifine for 1.19 Forge and beyond. In the description down below, you'll find two download links, the first of which is Minecraft Forge. Of course, because this is a Forge guide, we'll be heading across to this first. I'll expand 1.19 and click it on the left hand side, then I'll click install in the center of my screen here, making sure 1.19 is selected. Then we'll download the Forge installer for 1.19. Click skip add in the top right, when it eventually clicks through these few seconds of seeing this ad. There we go. Now that it's done, you'll need to click in it to open it up, and it should open up with Java. If instead of seeing this window here, you see a WinRAR window, for example, you'll need to make sure that you have Java installed and up to date. If you know that you have Java installed, in the description down below, you'll find a link to a jar fix. Simply follow along with that guide, and when it's done, you should be able to launch up Forge as such here. Then click Install Client and hit OK. Wait for this to run through to completion. And when it's done, Minecraft Forge for 1.19 should be installed and set up. There we go. I'll click OK. Now that we're done with that, let's head across to the next link in the description down below, which is downloading Optifine, optifine.net slash downloads. Look for 1.19. If you don't see it, watching this in the future, click show all versions and then look for 1.19. Then when you've located Minecraft 1.19, if you need to, click preview versions and expand that. We'll look for the latest version here. And as long as it says Forge next to it, like it does here, then it supports Minecraft Forge. I'll click download to view an ad and support the developer, or you can click a mirror over here to skip the ad and instead go straight to the download, which I can click here. Then it's downloading the Optifine jar. Now the installation is incredibly simple. Simply hold start and press R to bring up the run dialog. Inside of here, type in percentage, app data, percentage, backslash, dot, Minecraft as such. While you're typing it, you should see it pop up on the list and you can click in it to autocomplete and click OK and our Minecraft folder should then open up. We're looking for a mods folder inside of this. If you don't see the Minecraft folder at all, make sure you've launched up Minecraft at least once. And if you don't see a mods folder inside of this .minecraft folder, you can simply right click and create a new folder. Then I'll open it up. And if you have any incompatible mods in here, you'll need to remove them, i.e. a previous version that's not Minecraft Forge 1.19 or any fabric mods, etc. You can just make a separate folder and rename it something else like I have here in order to keep your different mods for different versions of Minecraft. Regardless, when you're happy with the mods folder, all you need to do is drag your download from your browser or your downloads folder into here. And we now have preview Optifine 1.19 or simply Optifine 1.19 in the future inside of our mods folder. When you've done so, we can fire up normal Minecraft. So I'll start up the Minecraft launcher. I'll sign into it. And on the Minecraft Java Edition tab, simply make sure to select Forge over here and it says 1.19. You can head across to installations if you don't see it, click a new installation, and from the versions drop down here, simply look for and select release 1.19 Forge. Then you can also customize it by clicking edit, more options, and you can change the amount of RAM that you're giving your game. In my case, I'm giving it XMX 8G, the 8G meaning 8 gigabytes. You can change this to whatever you'd like on your computer, assuming you have that amount of free RAM available at least. Then we can either click play here or head across to play, select 1.19 Forge and click play here instead. I'll skip this warning, click play once more. And once we're on the main menu, you won't notice anything different and Optifine won't even show in the mods section over here. Instead, you'll need to head into options, then video settings. And if you see all of these extra options and Optifine in the bottom left hand corner, then congratulations, we've now successfully installed Optifine for Minecraft Forge 1.19. We can of course hop into any of our single player or multiplayer worlds or servers and play as usual. Now we just have Optifine installed as well. Assuming you're playing a mod pack based on Forge 1.19, you can simply drop it into that mods folder and congratulations, you'll now be playing modded Minecraft on whatever mod pack with Optifine 1.19 installed as well. It's super simple. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobay here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.